all about Kylian Mbappe. Tony Cruz on his podcast said uh, maybe a player from Paris will be joining us. Uh, meanwhile, as saying Real Madrid uh, never give up. Uh, Gab. We heard Florentino Perez, of course, with his Super League malarkey saying, look, we don't have any money, pleading pro poverty. Yet we keep seeing these stories about Kylian Mbappe and the possibility of him moving to Real Madrid this summer. How on earth financially can they even think about getting this done? Uh, to be honest, Dan, I think the only way it gets done this summer, and there are a lot of, uh, a lot of ifs involved there, but... Kylian Mbappe becomes a free agent on June 30th of 2022. Uh, there's, he's got a contract sitting right in front of him from Paris Saint-Germain. It's a contract extension. He has not signed it. If he comes out and he says, look, I am not going to sign this new contract, Paris Saint-Germain, I definitely will not sign it. So you can either let me go and get nothing back from me on June 30th, mm. or you let me go now, you save on my enormous wages, and you get a fee back. Now, it's not going to be $150 because you just have a year left, but you have some sort of reasonable fee, whether it's $40 million, $50 million, $60 million, whatever it is, far less than his, trans than his market value. I think that is the only way that this can happen. It seems far-fetched to me, but, you know, I, Messi leaving Barcelona, joining Paris Saint-Germain seemed even more far-fetched, so yeah. who knows? Well, uh, well listen... Listen. Listen. Why, why, why would PSG bother their backside about 40 or 50 million? Why? You've just brought... Well, but it's, it's not 40 or 50 million, Craig. Well... It's 40 or 50 million versus zero a year from now and Mbappe's wages for this season. Yeah. So all in all, I think their savings this year alone um, would probably come out to... If it's 50 million, let's say somewhere in the in the 70 to 80 million on salary alone um, versus the prospect of getting zero a year from now. Right. 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 Do they need to make this saving for financial fair play reasons? That's one of the big mysteries. They say that they're compliant. They will continue right. to be compliant, blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean, that's a big, uh, that's a big dark black box. We don't know what financial fair play is going to look like in the future. All right, so, so my point being it's is, a tough one to answer. My point being is, why would they give us stuff about 40 or 50 million and his considerable wages when they are loaded with cash, when they're already paying uh, Neymar and Di Maria and uh, now paying Lionel Messi a reported fifth, uh, 1 million sterling or thereabouts per week? Why bother for 40 million? That's what I'm saying. 40 million, 50 million, 70 million to them is like $20 to us. You... So why not just keep them another year and say, OK, let's see what this Messi, Neymar, Mbappe trio looks like. Let's see what the success brings because ultimately we've got as much, if not more, cash than anybody else. So really, why not just wait and say, OK, go on a free transfer? So, what's, so actually, what's the question? What's, what's the Champions League worth to the owners? Right, because yeah. if Mbappe stays, yep. the chances of them winning the, the Champions League will stay where they are as favourites. So is it worth 70, 80? Is it worth, it's got to be worth 100 million to the owners of PSG to have the Champions League trophy sat on his desk. It's got to be. From a Real Madrid perspective, though, they know that Kylian Mbappe grew up supporting the team, wanting to play for Real Madrid one day. Do you go to him and say... You speak to your bosses and say that you want to get out of Paris or else this time next season, instead of picking you up on a free, we're going to get Erling Haaland. No. I've, listen, if, I, if I'm killing Mbappe, and, and by the way, he seems to me as if he's got a fair amount of arrogance about him. Too much of late actually on the field, if, if I'm being honest. Then you just back yourself. OK. <laughs> you, you're threatening me. There'll right. be others. Right. They're going to be, you go and get Ellen Haaland, you do what you want, but I'm a free transfer next summer and I will have pretty much the pick of who I want. My point being is, and Stevie just nailed it there, what's the most important thing to them? There's 40, 50 million, they can drop it away and go, oh, who cares? But we're going to keep you here because we've just signed Messi. Right. So I, I, I see that as a scenario. Uh, and by the way, what does Tony Chris know about Real Madrid transfer policy? Well, <laughs> <laughs> they're in a chat to him about it. 
Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.